This video will look at three everyday objects named after French people – silhouette, nicotine and leotard. Silhouette How Etienne de Silhouette came to give his name to the dark outline of something against a brighter background is still unclear. In 1759, France was in the grip of a financial crisis, fighting Britain and running up a deficit. The new finance minister, Etienne de Silhouette, decided to introduce tough new austerity measures. He introduced the subvention générale, a tax on external signs of wealth such as doors, windows and servants, and ordered the rich to melt down their silverware. The story goes that his reputation for being tight-fisted prompted people to refer to any cheap or shoddy goods as being à la silhouette, and that the term was also applied humorously to the increasingly popular, inexpensive black profiles that the rich had been reduced to commissioning of themselves, instead of their usual expensive portraits and sculptures. Other accounts suggest the politician was particularly fond of creating these outline portraits himself, as he renovated his chateau in his retirement. More than two centuries on, we shall probably never know the truth. Nicotine we can trace the entire tobacco phenomenon back to a single moment in 1561, when jean Nico de Villemain, a young French ambassador, went to dinner at a friend's house during his diplomatic stint in Lisbon and was shown a garden plant from Brazil that apparently had incredible healing properties. Excitedly, he came back to Paris with the new herb which he believed had already been proven to cure ailments of all kinds. At the royal court, he urged Catherine de Médicis' son to take snuff, which was pulverized tobacco leaves, to cure his migraines. It must have worked, because the new fad soon caught on and spread from Paris to the rest of Europe. Linnaeus is alleged to have named the genus of the tobacco plant Nicotiana in honor of the diplomat. When the chemical compound nicotine was finally isolated, it too was named after the man who left an interesting dual legacy to French culture. Nico spent his later years writing his own groundbreaking French dictionary, The Trésor de la Langue Française, published in 1606, which paved the way for many French language dictionaries to come. Leotard The daring young man on the flying trapeze was a popular 19th century song penned in honor of Jules Leotard, a French acrobat who virtually invented the aerial trapeze act during the 1850s after experimenting with ropes and bars over his home swimming pool in Toulouse. He became incredibly popular performing in circuses and music halls in Paris and London in the mid-19th century, astonishing audiences with his airborne somersaults and impressive physique. Lyotard would perform in a tight, one-piece garment of his own design that he called a maillot. People only started referring to it as a leotard a few decades after his unexpectedly young death at 28 from disease, not, as it is tempting to speculate, from a knack that went wrong.